Hello kids! In this video, we will learn about time measurement units. Tomorrow is Sher Khan's birthday. Sher Khan is very excited for his birthday. Just as he woke up, he immediately saw the time in the clock next to him. Sher Khan started wondering why there are three hands in the clock. Kids, do you know? What are the three hands in a clock for? The thinnest hand in the clock tells time in seconds. Second is the smallest unit of time measured. The longest hand, like this, gives time in minutes. 60 seconds are added to make one minute. And the smallest hand of the clock shows the time in hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Children, can you see? How fast the needle of the second hand has turned in one minute? And the minute hand has only reached only here in one minute. And the minute hand has completed a complete round in one hour. But the hour hand has only reached here. Today, Sher Khan also finished brushing his teeth and bathing in just 30 minutes. It takes him at least an hour to do these everyday tasks. Today, Sher Khan had breakfast in minutes and went to school. Sher Khan's mother was surprised. How Sher Khan went to school today without making excuses? Then she remembered that all this is probably because there is only one day left for Sher Khan's birthday. Do you know that one day is made by total 24 hours? As soon as Sher Khan reached school, he invited all his friends to come to his birthday party the next day at his house. Golu said excitedly that his birthday too is coming next month. And he will also throw a party like Sher Khan. Kids, do you know how long is one month? That's correct. There are 28 to 31 days in a month. Sher Khan told his friends that he is very excited for his birthday. He was looking forward to his birthday for whole one year. After all, he has only one day left for his birthday. Do you know how many months a year is off? Absolutely right. One year contains total 12 months. All friends are very excited to go to Sher Khan's birthday party. They all told Sher Khan that they would definitely come to celebrate his birthday. And will also bring a special gift. How was the preparation of Sher Khan's birthday? And what gift has his friends brought for his party? We will see in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learned about time measurement units. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples.
Hello kids. In the previous video, we learned about time measurement units. In this video, we will learn about how long it takes to do different tasks. Today is Sher Khan's birthday. Everyone has been preparing for his birthday since morning. Sher Khan's mother planted a tree in her garden when he was born. Now, there are beautiful flowers on that tree. Children, do you know how long it takes for a tree to grow? Seconds? Minutes? Or years? All right. It takes years to grow trees. Sheer Khan's mother is preparing for the party. She will cook a lot of dishes. She is now thinking that only a few hours left for the guests to arrive. Will she be able to do all the preparations by then? What do you think, kids? How long does it take to cook delicious dishes? Months? Hours? Or second? Well done, kids. You have found the right answer. It takes a few hours to cook delicious dishes. She prepared delicious dishes with the help of her cook. Kids, here are few tasks related to Sher Khan's birthday written here. Can you connect these tasks with their units of time? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids! You have found the correct answers. All the preparations were done. And all the guests have arrived. But what's this? Why did Golu take so long to come? When Sher Khan asked his reason for being late, Golu tells him that he was stuck in traffic due to the construction of a new bridge near his house. Kids, can you tell how long it takes to build a bridge? Correct! It takes months to build a bridge. Golu also joined the party. And all the friends celebrated Sher Khan's birthday grandly. Kids, in this video, we learned about some interesting examples of how long it takes to do different tasks. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about how long it takes to do different tasks. In this video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Today, all the friends have decided to play cricket. All of them gathered in the field. But... Uh, where is Bablu? Look, Bablu comes here now gasping. When everyone asked him why he was late, Bablu said that he woke up at 9 and then it took him 15 minutes to bathe. So he was late. Raju told him that he too woke up at 9 a.m. But he took a quick shower in 5 minutes. So he reached the ground on time. Bablu was shocked. He told Raju 
when both he and Raju bathed in minutes. Then how did Raju reach there before? Kids, did Raju and Bablu take equal time to bathe? They didn't. Even though Raju and Bablu bathed within minutes, the amount of time they took is not the same. Raju took 5 minutes to bathe, while Bablu took 15 minutes. 5 or 15 minutes? Which one is greater? Exactly! 15. So, who took longer to bathe? Bablu. Raju explained this to Bablu. The game started. Everyone enjoyed the game very much. When the game was over, Raju told Bablu that why don't they both go to Babban's ice cream stall and eat ice cream? Bablu tells him that he's thirsty. Raju tells him that he too is feeling really sweaty. Then both of them decided to go to Raju's house first. Raju can wash his face there and Bablu can drink water. Raju and Bablu reach Raju's house. Bablu, as soon as they reached there, went to kitchen to drink water. And Raju went to the bathroom to wash his face. Bablu returned after drinking water from the kitchen. But Raju did not return after washing his face. Bablu thought that both of them should have taken equal time to drink water and wash their face. So why is Raju taking so long? Kids, is Bablu thinking correctly? Does it take equal time to drink water and washing up? Bablu is thinking wrong. It only takes a few seconds to drink water. But washing up takes several minutes. So Bablu and Raju will not take the same amount of time. Remember kids, it takes different time to do different tasks. Finally, Raju returned after washing himself up and they both went to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. Kids, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to how long does it take to do different tasks? Kids, in this video, we will learn about the calendar. In a few days, there was a show of magic going to happen in the village. When Sher Khan was coming home from school, he found a poster of magic show on the way. He got excited and brought that poster directly to his mother. He asks his mother, when is the magic game going to happen? His mother looked at the calendar and said that the magic game was going to happen on September 15th. And it still had four days to go. Sher Khan could not understand how his mother found out by looking at the calendar how many days were left in the game. He asked his mother, What is a calendar, mom? Kids, do you know what a calendar is? Come see.
what Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him about the calendar. Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him that this is a calendar. It depicts the month of the whole year and the days in those months. Children, do you know how many months are there in a year? Exactly! 12 months! Now Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him that on the poster of the game of magic, it is written that the game is going to be on 15th September and today is 10th September. Children, can you find the date of 10th September on this calendar? First, we will find the month of September in the calendar. Can you find the month of September on this calendar? Well done kids! You have found it absolutely right. Now, can you find the date 10 in here? That's great! You got the date right! Children, can you tell how many days are there in the month of September? That's right! 30 days! Children, do you know that there are not 30 days in all months? There are some months that have 31 days. Can you tell by looking at the calendar which months have 31 days in them? If you want, you can pause the video to find the answer. Yes! January, March, May, July, August, October and December have 31 days in their month. Sher Khan's mother showed Sher Khan the date of the magic game on the calendar. Now, Sher Khan started thinking that days were written in this way in the month. But he could not understand why only the names of the day were written above. Do you know the reason behind it? Because one week is made by adding seven days. And as soon as one week ends, another week starts. So once again, the second week starts from the same day. And so, the names of the days are written only above. Children, can you tell how many weeks are there in the month of September? Exactly! Four weeks and a few days. And if you look closely, you will find that there are four weeks and few days in every month. There are four weeks only in the month of February and in certain years, it is four weeks and one day in the month of February. Sher Khan was very happy after learning about the calendar. He told his mother that now he himself will reach the right day for the game of magic. He went running and told his friends about the calendar. Children, in this video, we learned about the calendar. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about the calendar. In this video, we will learn more about this.
Golu has come to a marketplace to buy biscuits today. When he bought a pack of biscuits from the shopkeeper, he saw that some numbers were written on it. He could not understand anything. He immediately asked Babban, "What are these numbers?" Babban told him that this number is the date on which this packet of biscuit was manufactured. Golu asks Babban how he came to know what date it is. Children, have you seen a date written like this on something? We can write any date in this way. These numbers indicate which date of the month it is. Like uh, what date is mentioned on the packet of biscuits bought by Golu? Exactly, eight. Now, this number shows the number of the month. Children, can you tell what is the third month of the year? Let's find it in the calendar. This is the first month of the year, January. This second, February and March is the third month. And finally, the last number in the date written on the pack of biscuits represents the last two digits of any year. Like uh, number 19 on the packet of Gulu's biscuits here, this year is made up of last two digits of the year 2019. So, what was the date written on Gulu's pack of biscuits? Yes, 8th March 2019. Kids, can you find this date on the calendar? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the right answer. Golu became very excited after learning how to write this date. When Golu reached school, he saw that the date was also written on his classroom's blackboard. Children, can you tell me what date it is? Exactly! This date is 21st August 2019. Now, can you find this date on the calendar? Well done, children. You have found the right answer. Golu started feeling hungry. He opened his pack of biscuits. And first, he gave Raju a biscuit from it. And then, ate a biscuit himself. Raju tells Golu that two years ago, his uncle brought him very tasty biscuits from abroad. Kids, if it is the year 2019 now, can you tell in which year did Raju's uncle get the biscuits for him? To find the year before 2019, we only have to count backwards from 2019 to 2 years. 2018-2017 Raju's uncle had brought him the biscuits in the year 2017. Golu's mouth became watery after hearing about tasty biscuits. He immediately asks Raju, 
When will his uncle come back from abroad? Then Raju told him that he would come from abroad the next year. Kids, can you tell what the next year of 2019 will be? All right. We have to add one year to 2019. One added to 2019 would be 2020. So, Raju's uncle is going to come again from abroad in 2020. Golu got very excited on hearing this. Raju told him that when his uncle would come from abroad, he would definitely give Golu some of those delicious biscuits. Golu became very happy after hearing this. Raju and Golu shared Golu's biscuits and ate it with great pleasure. Kids, in this video, we learned more about the calendar with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned more about the calendar with some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it. Jeev came to meet Raju Bablu on February 29th last year. Now, the month of February is about to begin. Today is the last date of January, that is 31st January. Raju and Bablu are very excited because Jeev told them that he will come to meet them every 29th of February. Raju is telling Bablu that tomorrow is the first date of February. So, tomorrow will definitely be Sunday. Bablu started laughing at Raju. Bablu said that every month does not necessarily start on Sunday. Children, who do you think is right? Raju or Bablu? Yes, Bablu is right. Every month does not start on Sunday. As you can see in this calendar, the first date of the month of January is on Sunday. But the first date of February is on Wednesday. Many days have passed. And today, the date is 28th February. Raju and Bablu prepared to welcome Jeev. The next day, they kept waiting for him for the whole day. But Jeev did not come. Both Raju and Bablu became very sad. At that time, Barbolit. uncle was passing by. He saw Raju and Bablu sad. When he asked Raju and Bablu the reason for their sadness, Bablu told them that he would come to meet them every 29th February. But he did not come to meet them today. Uncle explained to Raju and Bablu that every year the 29th does not come in the month of February. There are only 28 days in February every year. But because exactly one year is not equal to 365 days, rather it is a little more than that, which we could not count in days. These small parts add up to one day in 
four years. Which is added in the month of February. So, there is a month with 29 days in February after every four years. Such as last time was in the year 2016 and now the next year with 29 days in February would be 2020. In most years, February has only 28 days and this year is also the same year when there are only 28 days in February. Therefore, Jeev did not come to meet them. Raju and Bablu now understood why Jeev did not come. And uncle also gave them one one toffee each to make them happy. Raju and Bablu look so happy after eating the toffee. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to the calendar. Hello children! In this video, we will learn to tell time by using the watch. While Chanda was returning home from her shop, she found a watch on the way. The watch was very shiny. Chanda took that watch with her to her house. When Chanda brought that watch to her house, then she saw that the needles of the watch were like this. Children, do you remember the needles of the clock? Come, let's revise them once again through a poem. I am a one-hour needle, short and thick. Whenever the hour is over, I move forward. I am a minute needle, big and long. As soon as the minute is over, I run ahead. I am second needle. I move the fastest. In a blink of an eye, I run quickly ahead. Chanda is wondering, what time is the watch showing? Then suddenly an angel came there. The angel gave magical shoes to Chanda and said if she would wear these shoes exactly at 12 o'clock at night, she would be able to go to a world which would be filled with her favorite things. But she has to take care that she returns home exactly at 1 o'clock. Chanda got very excited. The angel disappeared after saying this. Now Chanda started thinking that if she does not know the time in the watch, then how she will know when it is 12 o'clock? Chanda once again looked at the watch. The needles of the clock were like this. Let us help Chanda tell the time in the watch. Kids, do you know how to tell the time in a watch? No. No problem. Look here. In a watch, there are numbers from 1 to 12 written in this manner. The entire watch consists of 60 minutes and they are divided between 12 numbers. So each part is of 5 minutes and 
if you look closely you will find that there are four small lines in each part in this way every short line is equal to 1 minute let us see how we can tell the time in this watch this is the time in chanda's watch children can you tell what number is the hour needle on yes between 11 and 12 whenever the hour needle is between any two numbers then we have to take the smaller number of the two numbers as hour number so how many hours are there in chanda's watch yes 11 hours now let's see the time in minutes can you tell what number the minute needle is on on number 11 and we know that there is a distance of 5 minutes between every two numbers so to count the time in minutes we have to multiply 11 by 5 so children what is 11 times 5 55 In this way the minute needle is at 55 minutes in Chanda's watch. Now this is very easy. Whenever we want to tell the time in the watch just call the hour and minute numbers together. In this way it is 11 hours and 55 minutes in Chanda's watch. Chanda also learned to tell the time with you. Chanda became very excited to know that there was only 5 minutes left to 12 o'clock. Now, according to the angel, she will have to wait only 5 more minutes. And then at 12 o'clock She will wear the magical shoes and reach her most favorite thing in the world. Children, in this video, we learned to read time from the watch. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Hello children in the previous video we learned to read time from the watch in this video we will learn more about it by some interesting examples finally it's 12 o'clock and chanda puts on her shoes children can you tell what the needles of the clock look like at uh, 12 o'clock That's correct The hour needle is exactly on number 12 And minute needle is also on number 12 As soon as Chanda put on her magic shoes she reached such a place Chanda can't believe her eyes She has reached in such a world where there are only walnuts around her. Once again, the angel came there. She told Chanda that she can collect as many walnuts as she can and take with her till 2 o'clock. Chanda found a basket there and started collecting walnuts in it. 
Now Chanda saw the time in her watch. The needles were like this. Children, can you tell what time it is now in Chanda's watch? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the right answer. In Chanda's watch, the hour needle is between 1 and 2. So, it's 1 hour. And the minute needle is on number 4. So, how many minutes does that make? Yes, 4 times 5 or 20 minutes. In this way, the time in Chanda's watch is still 1 hour 20 minutes. Chanda was so happy that she forgot about the time. Now, when she saw the time in the clock, it was 50 minutes past 1. Children, can you tell us what the needles of the clock will look like at 1 hour 50 minutes? Because a few minutes have passed since 1, the hour needle will be between numbers 1 and 2. And at what number will the minute needle be to show 50 minutes? This is very easy. As we multiply the number on clock by 5. To find the time in minutes. To find out what number the needle points to. We have to reverse it. That is minutes divided by 5. So, 50 is divided by 5. How many does that make? Exactly! 10. Therefore, the minute needle will be on the number 10. In this way, we can show 1 hour 50 minutes. Shanda is still busy collecting walnuts. The watch showed 2 o'clock, but Chanda did not even know. Chanda started collecting walnuts more rapidly. In her hurry, one of her shoes was left there. And Chanda came back to her house by magic. Chanda is sad that her shoe was lost and that the watch also disappeared. But Chanda was very happy to see her walnut basket and gladly started eating the walnuts. Now, what will happen to that magic watch? We will see in the next video. Children, in this video, we learned more about reading time in the watch through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to it. Children, in the last video, we learnt more about reading time in the watch by some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to it. Chanda's magic watch disappeared. But where did the watch finally go? What's this? Babban found the magic watch? Once again, the angel appeared in front of Babban. She told Babban the same thing about the watch which she had told 
Chanda. On wearing the magical shoes, Babban will reach the world exactly at 12 o'clock. Which has his favorite item? There, he will have till 2 p.m. And during that time, he can collect as many things as he wants and bring with him. Seeing this, the angel also gave Babban the new magical shoes. The time in Babban's watch was this. Babban thought that it was 11 hours 15 minutes in his watch. Thinking of this, Babban quickly put on his magical shoes. He stayed for a long time. But no magic happened and he stayed in his house. But why did it happen? Children, can you tell what mistake Babban has made? When Babban saw the time in the clock, the needles of the watch were like this. Can you tell what time it is in the watch? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. That's correct. The hour needle is between 3 and 4. So it was past 3 o'clock. And the minute needle is on number 11. So 11 times 5 is 55 minutes. In this way, the time in the watch is 3 hours 55 minutes. And Babban saw the time as 11 hours 15 minutes. Can you tell? Where the needles of the watch need to be to show the time as 11 hours 15 minutes? That's correct. At 11 hours 15 minutes, the hour needle is between 11 and 12 and the minute needle will be at 15 divided by 5, that is number 3. Now can you tell by looking at these two watches, what mistake has Babban made? Yes, Babban replaced the hour needle with the minute needle and minute needle replaced by the hour needle to see time in the watch. So Babban saw the wrong time. Children, keep in mind, whenever you look at the time in the watch, identify the minute and hour needle properly and then guess the time. It's finally 12 o'clock and Babban reached a world which was full of bananas. Babban became very excited. He quickly started eating bananas. Babban was so happy that he did not care about time and he kept eating bananas. Then, when Babban's stomach was full, he started feeling very sleepy. When Babban saw the time in the watch, the needles of the watch were like this. Babban thought that the hour needle between 1 and 2 is very close to 2. Hence, 2 hours have passed and the minute needle is on number 10 or 10 times 5, 50 minutes have passed. So the time is now 2 hours and 50 minutes. Babban thought that the angel has allowed him 
to stay there only because it's already 2 hours and 50 minutes and he was still there after thinking this babban fell asleep peacefully children has babban seen the correct time in the watch no babban has made a mistake what mistake has babban made absolutely right babban was wrong about the hour what is the time if the hour needle was between 1 and 2 exactly 1 hour but babban understood it as 2 hours children remember that whenever the hour needle is between any two numbers we always have to take the smaller number of those numbers in the hour count what is the right time this yes the exact time has been 1 hour 50 minutes when babban woke up he found himself in his house because Babban saw the time in the watch wrong and shortly after Babban went to sleep, it was 2 o'clock and he returned to his house, Babban became depressed for a while. But then he saw the angel had placed a lot of bananas in a basket beside him. Babban started dancing happily after seeing this. Children, in this video, we learnt about some common mistakes related to telling time.